Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Summer of Stories. Today is the B episode, so we're going to be talking about that in today's episode. So any topic that falls or related to a subject that begins with the letter B. Um, if you guys are interested, I do have a free download with a bunch of different topics that start with B over on my blog, just a one page printout. And there's even some blank spots so you could add in your own unique items that might pertain to you. But today I'm going to be doing a fantabulous grid layout with these 6 by 6 papers I am pulling out. And really what happens here is I know already what my title was going to be. I do change it. A lot of things change. But I knew since I'm trying to focus on 6 by 6 papers that I want to do some really cool layouts for you guys this month. So you guys see that my hands are moving a lot faster than I normally do. That's because this is a real-time process video for my patrons and every week during the summer my patrons are getting a real-time process video for the Summer of Story series. So if you guys are interested in that, check out my Patreon. I'll have it linked down below. But don't forget to download your free PDF over on my blog with a bunch of stories so you guys can scrap along to the alphabet with me and cover all sorts of subjects we may have forgotten about. So this photo is of myself. It's a selfie with the I Heart New York sign. Now you can find this right at the visitor center as you cross the border from Pennsylvania to New York. Um, I'm not 100% sure which um, road I crossed in on. I drove, the, I drove that route a lot of times, but um, I can't remember it now. Um, so you can find that there. I think it's at a couple of the different uh, main roads that cross over the border. So I took a selfie there and this was the last time I would make that drive um, and I had officially moved back to New York. So essentially this is like back home, back to New York. I end up calling it something else, which of course in the preface of this when I was explaining the video idea, the topic matters more than the title does so that you guys are writing about stories that pertain to the subjects that begin with B rather than, you know, just using letters that begin with B, if that makes any sense. So yesterday, or the day before that actually, was episode A, so if you haven't checked that out, there's a playlist down below that'll have all the episodes in order. So now that I've cut out all those papers, I used six or seven pattern papers, and I cut them all down to one and a half inch squares. So you can see that covers a wide variety of the surface area of this yellow paper. The yellow background is from Simple Stories Life in Color, and then I also use the Simple Stories uh, paper pad as well as a one page from a, another paper pad which is by Crate Paper and then another paper pad and then I also use this Cut Apart which has these labels on it to fill in that one awkward spot. Um, and then I inked all of the edges with that Hampton Art Ink Cube which was supposed to be a light gray but it was definitely more of a dark gray. Um, so this layout does have a lot of contrast. So I'm using Crate Paper, Simple Stories, and I think there was one other one I'm forgetting here. But I did pull out um, the 6x6 six six stops on the, Oh yes, there's that one by Pink Fresh Studio, Case of the Blahs, is that yellow stripe, which matches my background paper beautifully. So I layer those together um, under my photo as well, just the scraps to use some of them. And then I'm going to start adhering everything down. So this took quite a while, so I apologize that this is a more tedious process, but I kind of want to talk about my background a little bit here. So one of the hardest parts about doing a layout like this is it does look really busy. So I'd recommend sticking with one paper pad, one color scheme. I stuck with the same color scheme that was inspired by that Simple Stories paper pad, and it came together pretty quickly. Um, and I did not use a ruler to put all these down. I thought if they're a little bit wonky, that'll add a little bit to the layout. But you want to make sure that your patterns are unique enough so they don't blend into each other, um, and also different enough where they don't, you know, distract from each other. So they're still basic patterns. Nothing, None of them are crazier than the others. I think the blue polka dot stands out a little bit more because it has a dark background compared to the light backgrounds of the other ones. But other than that, there's nothing too crazy going on here. So once my background is finished, um, I think inking the edges really did help them stand out a bit from the background, but it really depends on what type of look you're going for. But once that was finished, I start on the um, embellishing portion. So I start just by pulling things off of my desk. As you guys know, my craft room is still not unpacked all the way, so I just have to work with whatever I can find. Luckily, I have my embellishment cart pretty much ready to go. I think that's pretty much the way it's going to be, and I can't wait to share that with you guys in an upcoming scrap room tour, so get excited for that. But for now, I'm going to look through a bunch of things. I did pull out a fancy pants flare there that says be happy, and it actually says it in black, red, and yellow, which is hard to tell, but um, I thought that brought in nice colors from the color scheme that I'm working with. 
And I know this process video sort of flew by fast, but there's not a lot of stuff happening. It was a lot of gluing down, a lot of cutting, um, and now some simple embellishing. So throughout the process, I pull a menagerie of stickers. And again, if you want to see the real-time process video, that'll be over on my Patreon. But I use puffy stickers from Pink Fresh Studio in light blue, as well as some Paige Evans puffy stickers, and then some stickers from the Goldenrod Collection by One Canoe 2. There was one there that said Explore, so I thought that was cute. And here I actually break out into my sticker books. And I don't use too much from my sticker books, but I do pull out this word that says Today. And I end up calling this big move today because this was when I officially moved back um, and it was a big move. It was a seven hour drive and I did have the cats in the car so it was quite crazy. Um, so this is when I moved back to New York um, last year. So that is coming together nicely. I do flip through the rest of my sticker books and don't really find much of anything to include. I pulled out I think one of the circle stickers from this American Craft sticker book and I really enjoyed that pop of color that that adds. Um, when I do stick that down. But that's pretty much it for embellishing. I find a couple more things. You guys will be able to see the details in the up close uh, video here at the end. And I do have some up close photos over at my blog and that blog post will be linked down below so you guys can get your free printable and grab that um, and see the up close photos. So again, flip through all my sticker books, which I only have three, but still I'm trying to use those, trying to be mindful that they exist. Um, and then for one more splash of color, I do dip into some enamel dots. I go for these Pink Fresh Studio ones. Um, these are from the Holiday Vibes and I think Sweet Life Collections. I hope those are the right names. Um, but once I stick those down, you'll see that this layout pretty much comes together. I think that really completes it. But here's the up close look. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd love to know what you're scrapbooking this week that begins with an A or a B or about a subject that begins with A or B. And you can hashtag that with hashtag Summer of Stories 2019 and I'll be able to find it on Instagram or Facebook. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the free printable link down below and I will see you guys next time. Next up this week is a Summer of Stories vlog, so get ready for that. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.